Here is the rear sway bar link, which is a fantastic little kit. Um, as usual, Weller has great packaging, very clearly marked, um, good color photograph instructions. Um, and I believe these include hardware as well. So yes, this, this particular set includes their uh, rear sway bar links. Um, it's basically a couple of hinds that, that go together that uh, include new hardware and new bushings. They have these little angle cut bushings. That angle is important so that it prevents binding. You'll see that in many parts of the rear suspension for the Yamaha YXZ. Um, so that's these, real nice. Like I say, packaging has always been impressive with, uh, with Weller and fasteners and hardware all look good. Uh, okay, so uh, Weller recommends, um, first thing to check is to make sure that you have, that the hinds are screwed all the way in. So I'm unscrewing this lock nut as much as possible and then I'm making sure that the hinds are screwed into each other. The logo fa faces out and then you 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 have to unscrew that one. So, so the point here is that it's only unscrewed like a quarter turn um, which is fine I guess. What they don't want is that you have is that you have this unscrewed several turns. You know, you don't want a bunch of threads throwing there, showing there. That'll, I assume that'll sacrifice some strength as well as throw off the length. Okay, and it says to reuse the two factory washers on the back side. Everything else is their hardware, so that's their nuts and bolts. Just using a couple of factory washers. And these are metal locking washers or metal lock nuts. So um, no need to use um, a Loctite here unless you remove them. So if you ever remove this nut and reuse it, you're going to want to put Loctite on it then. But you can tell just because it's, it's, uh, it's got some resistance to turn them until they get in place and really locks them down good. This is a 10 millimeter Allen head. And it says to go to 65 foot pounds. It's very unusual, but that's an 18 millimeter. I think, I think the front Weller tie rods use an 18 millimeter nut that's similar. Might be the only 18s on this whole car that I'm aware of. Okay, and also important to note that their spec calls for foot pounds, not newton meters. So I'm going to turn my torque wrench to 65 foot pounds.
Okay, link done. So now I'm gonna go do the other side. And since the sway bar is attached to the lower control arm, trailing arm, then the arms have to be at the same height. So you'll notice here, I, ha I have this side higher than that side. You won't be able to get these two to link up now. That's the whole point of what a sway bar or an anti-sway bar link does, is it keeps the two arms um, basically from articulating independently. Um, it has some play to it, but for the most part, when you're working on it, the rear arms are gonna have to be at the same height um, in order to, to get these sway bars. So I'm gonna have to lift up on this side, something like that. No put a strap on it and uh, put that link on. Okay, got them torqued. So the final step here is to make sure that the himes are in line. What that means, you see how this is this is uh, crooked here? Um, you just wanna straighten it so that the, it, it's kind of centered, not off like that. So get it centered, both of them. This one's obviously because because the car's jacked up that the, you know, I don't know how to explain this. Um, you, you can't fix this angle right now because the car is just jacked up on, but when it's on the ground, it'd be different. But uh, you just don't want it to be twisted much. So this one can't be off very much. Once you get that centered each way, take a 24 millimeter and tighten that. Trying to get on that a little bit, see if I can. This is not exactly the right way to do it, but. Okay, there we go. So those kind of move freely, and um, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And um, then we're gonna be done with suspension in the back. Just be uh, ready to put on hubs and stuff. And they don't give you a torque value for this. It's, uh, I think you just kind of snug it up. You don't want to, you don't want it to be too far one way or the other, um, or too tight. It's just kind of a, something you, you periodically check. Okay, so now I'm gonna proceed with the rest of the rear suspension install and axles. And that's in a different video. So if you're following along on this uh, series, it'll be the next video in the playlist. Thanks for watching.